Okay, so welcome back campers. Uh, this video is gonna start a little bit different. It's just me, um, Elizabeth's at work. Uh, thank goodness, and Mona is super busy right now playing with her new best friend. So while I have a few moments, I ran out and I just threw all the cash I had saved up or that we had saved up um, to get Elizabeth the birthday present. And she does not know about this, um, but I bought her a dirt bike. Back when we were in the States, she really wanted to learn how to ride a motorcycle and we ran out of time. Now I've got to unload it out of the truck and hide it uh, where she won't find it for the next two weeks, which is going to be a task in and of itself because um, when you live together in a very small place, where do you hide a motorcycle that is not going to be found? So here we go. Let's see if we can get this dirt bike somewhere in the house and hide it from her uh, until her birthday. Okay, so that was awkward and sucked. But what I'm going to do now is go ahead and cut the fuel off on the petcock. So this is going to keep the fuel from leaking out in case this thing has a... Uh, you know, it's a worn out carburetor flow bowl or something. It will cause this to pour gas into the house, which we don't want. So cut the petcock off here. That should eliminate any kind of, uh, any leaks or spills into the closet where this thing's going for a while. So, all right, let's see if we can fit it in the house. All right, kind of on a time crunch because I think Elizabeth gets off work today early. Um, so hopefully we can get this thing hidden in the closet before she gets back. Let's see if we can get it in. That's what she said. All right. All right, so far so good. I'm not dripping any oil or anything. The seals and gaskets seem to be pretty good on this thing. Will it fit in the hallway just barely? Uh, just barely can fit. But, oh, maybe, oh shit, if I get, okay. Okay, we made it. Made it past. Uh, I'll just show you how tight this is gonna be. I'm trying to get that motorcycle into this closet right here. It's all cleared up. The only thing is, is the handlebars are wider than the closet is. So we're gonna have to do some finagling, maybe hang some stuff on it. This is. We just moved in here two days ago, um, so this is kind of our junk room. We haven't unpacked everything, it's just all of our junk, and so hopefully neither one of us is going to want to touch this. I'm banking on laziness that she doesn't want to come in here and uh, do anything, and then I can just cover it up with some suitcases and she won't even notice it because we don't come in this room. So let's see if I can make that happen. Okay, that's not going to fit. <laughs> and as you can guess, that didn't work either. Oh my God, it's going. I think I'm gonna really put a motorcycle in a closet. Oh my God, holy shit, it fit. Okay, <laughs> we did it. I can't believe that it actually worked, but we got a motorcycle in a closet. So now just to put the suitcases back in front of it and I don't think she's gonna notice. So now let's just jump to the future and surprise Elizabeth with this thing. So as you can see here in the background, I got the dirt bike set up. Elizabeth's almost back. I'm going to use Mona as a distraction so she doesn't see it. She walks in and let's see if we can surprise her with her first motorcycle. Mona, are you ready? Are you ready for the surprise? Are you ready for the dirt bike in the living room surprise? Are you amped up? Here she comes. Here she comes, Mona. Here she comes. Are you ready? Oh, we're ready to surprise her. Hopefully she doesn't see it through the window, but uh, it's still a surprise anyway, even if she does. Okay, go distract her, Mona. Okay, car door shut. Should be time for action. I'm gonna pie this corner off, just like we're doing some CQB, and see if I can surprise her. Happy birthday! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> Mona! Wait, what? <laughs> what? Say, boy! That's not a vacuum! 
It's not a vacuum. <laughs> you said I need to go get beer. What? <laughs> Mama! Where did you hide this? I hid it in the closet for three weeks. What? Mount the pony. Oh, I can flat foot it. So hopefully this video has given me some redemption. Given a redemption arc to this story because the the gifts from earlier this week were subpar. So I tried to give her a birthday week. Um, you know, because we have a lot of friends and family here. So like your birthday kind of feels weird when it's just the two of you. Um, and it doesn't feel like it's very special and you even like, you know, it's nothing different. So I tried to give her gifts earlier this week and those went about like this. <laughs> hey campers, what's up? Got Elizabeth a little early birthday present. Uh, she's got more presents coming, but this is for her birthday week. So I'm gonna hit her with this after a bad day at work as soon as she comes through the front door. Hi, Mom Bones. Happy birthday! It's not my birthday yet. <laughs> Ta-da! But it's cordless! This was for you to make your life easier. It's cordless! I, I'm not understanding this. I am, it was cordless. It's 24 volt cordless vacuum. <laughs> Hopefully this dirt bike will redeem that a little bit. So here it is, her 2005 KX100. Probably not the best, best beginner bike, it's a two stroke. We, we still haven't learned how to properly troll and fish, but now we're learning to spear fish and dirt bike, um, so. Um, I don't think we're ever going to get good at anything on this channel. We're just going to keep transitioning to something different and something new. And but that's what keeps the rock bottom momentum yeah. going, is when you try new things. Rock bottoming! You're rock bottoming! You fail a lot because you're learning. And that's how you rock bottom all the time. It's just a lot of failure. So I don't want to learn new things and keep failing and, you know, trying new stuff and, and not being really good at one thing only ever. Our, in our very first video with our channel, we, we were going to have more motorcycle kind of content, but we moved and then couldn't bring the motorcycle here. And our first video has got some motorcycle riding sections in it. And then she was in a motorcycle safety course. And then we had to stop all that. And then we came here and now we can get back on train and she can learn how to ride a motorcycle. How we progress there and it'll also help us explore some of the back country of Guam and do it through the lens of her learning how to ride a motorcycle. I can't stop smiling. Yeah. It, it was nice it popped up here on Guam motorcycles are really expensive. There's only two dealerships that bring new ones on the island and they mark them up like 30 or 40 percent. Uh, all your accessories are going to be like double price. So when you see something pop up on Craigslist used that's in pretty clean shape, it disappears really fast. So that's when I jumped over there and snagged this thing. And now we can look forward to some videos of her learning how to ride a motorcycle. Am I going to edit? Is there stuff before this? Even? There's stuff before this. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna edit Happy this. birthday. <laughs> Enjoy the editing of all the past footage of getting this motorcycle. <laughs> That's for you, babe. Happy birthday, Elizabeth. <laughs> Hap it's not your birthday. I feel like when you tell the waiter and they say, here's your, uh, enjoy your meal, and you say, you too. <laughs> That's what that just felt like. So, happy birthday, Elizabeth, and happy birthday to you guys. You too. <laughs> Please, not be done.